Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go over the finds from our last coin roll hunt under the microscope. So let's get started. So up first we have this 2009 Bicentennial Penny. This is the birth and early childhood one, the first in the series of four. I was just going to go kind of slowly so you can look at the detail here. So next on this 1985 Denver, on the reverse, we noticed that the FG doesn't look like it should. It's kind of bubbled, and the F almost doesn't even look like an F. Like maybe it was a dye error or worn out dye. So just wanted to show that up close. Next we have this 1982 large date Philadelphia. On the reverse, we noticed there is a die crack. Through the E in United. It's kind of hard to make out on this screen, but it also has a little die crack next to the FG and the memorial. Right there. So on this 2004, there's not a whole lot going on with it, but we did notice right below trust, there is almost, it looks like a period, but we did check it out and push on it with a toothpick. And when you push on it, it doesn't go down. So we don't think it's a plating error. We're not sure. Let me know in the comments what you guys think caused that. So on this 1988 Philadelphia, for those of you who don't know, I'm specifying that it's a Philadelphia because if you don't see a mint mark, that means it was made in Philadelphia. The only year that Philadelphia put the mint mark on was a 2017. On this one, on the reverse, we have the die crack right between the T and the E in United. Goes all the way to the memorial. And guys, I do have five wheat pennies to go over later on in the video, so stay tuned for that. So on this 1990, we have yet another die crack. I'm just going to quickly show it because they're pretty common since they make so many pennies and the dies are bound to have errors after pressing so many pennies. So the die crack is right between the I and the T in United. So on this 1999, we have we do have another die crack. This one is like a spiked head Lincoln right through the W and we and through Lincoln's head. We don't find that many that are pre-2000s, so we just wanted to share this 1999. On this 1991, on the reverse side, we found yet another die crack. A lot of these pennies in this video had die cracks because that's what we ran across the most on this last hunt. Um, right through the N and the I, through the memorial there. So basically we look at each of the pennies under the microscope and we just show you guys what we found. We weigh each of the pennies to make sure they're not struck on the wrong planchet and we just kind of share our findings with you guys. And we do a little bit of research also, but we spend a lot of time looking at each penny under the magnifier. So next we have a Canadian bird penny. These ones were from 1867 to 1967. We don't find them all that often. We do find a lot of Canadian pennies here because we're in Michigan. So we just come across a lot of Canadians, but I'm just going to quickly show you guys this one. I haven't done one of these under the microscope yet. And I do have like three more die cracks that we found this roll, but I don't want to bore you guys with a bunch of the same thing. So I'm going to move on and the wheat pennies are next. All right. 
Okay, here's the first of the five wheat pennies we found in the last hunt. This one is in 1944. Here's wheat penny number two. This one is a 1940. Here's the third wheat penny. This one's kind of beat up. It is a 1956 Denver. All right. So this was the next wheat penny we found. This one is a 1955. And on a 1955, you're looking for a double die obverse. This one is not it, unfortunately. If it was, it would be a big money coin. And finally, we have the last wheat scent that we found in the last hunt. This one is the oldest one. It is a 1926. We hadn't had that year yet, so we were pretty happy to find that one. Going to have to add that one to the collection book. So if you guys made it this far, thanks for checking out our findings with me. Be on the lookout for our next coin roll hunting video. Thank you guys for all of the likes, and I appreciate all of the subscribers. I noticed I'm about to 500 now. I'll see you guys in the next video.